hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to link two tasks here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Microsoft Planner does not natively support linking tasks directly, but there are a few workarounds to establish connections or dependencies between tasks, all right? So once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the plans that you're working. In my case, I'm going to be choosing this plan right here. Now, you see, if you click on a specific task, maybe this one right here, there's going to be an option that says copy link to task or copy link to task. So that's one of the ways for you to be able to uh, link tasks here, all right? And this meth method is very simple. It allows anyone viewing tasks to quickly access the related task right here, all right? And you would notice, say, for example, this is going to be a link task one and click on it, all right? And you can also do that here. For example, this, you can link that, copy link to task. You see the uh, setup link copy to board set up employee company accounts and all they have to do now is put that in here in this notes now after doing so you can create a checklist on the feature to list other tasks that are related to or need to be completed first all right for example this one right here you can put in the link on the checklist so that the uh now this is going to be a link to task two maybe you can have these uh, simple workarounds and then obviously if you do that you also have the option to put in the label let's do that right now on the label if you go to the grid view you can put in the label of the link task say for example linked together all right you can also do that to other um, sections here so all of the pink ones are linked together so these are going to be some options for you to create a checklist of related tasks in the main tasks, right? And as you can see, these workarounds provide ways to connect related tasks and help team members understand the sequence or dependencies between tasks in Microsoft Planner. And of course, you can always add a new task or the micro or the, um, the uh, master task wherein, let's say this is going to be doing master link, wherein you can simply go to the... Uh, details open details you see if you click that there's going also going to be an option that says copy link to selected task you click on it and you will be forwarded here all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one